Good morning, everybody. Well, by the time that you watch this video, it may not be morning, but so be it. All right. <laughs> so we have a congressional investigation brought on uh, from the events of the uh, in internal investigation that the NFL conducted with the Washington football team. Now Congress is getting involved in this investigation. Or, well, I should say they are creating their own investigation. So what's going to come from this? I don't, I don't really know. Whenever Congress gets involved with stuff, it just tends to just mess things up even more, it seems like. But, hey, I mean, if they're able to get down to, you know, the, um, the brass tacks of what's going on and, you know, is able to shed some light on ob obvious information that has been held back from us, I'm all for it. I mean, you know, regardless of how the information is, good, bad, ugly, I would like to know. I mean, I really would. And I'm sure most of you guys would like to know as well. So, this is not going away, folks. Um, now, does this mean that there's going to be a chance that Dan Snyder gets, still gets ousted as an NFL owner? Well, I mean, I'm going to pump my brakes on that. I'm, I'm going to believe it when I see it. And I, I think, you know, back... What was it? Uh, last summer, not this past summer, but the summer before that, 2020. I was kind of saying the same thing. You know, things are starting to point to the idea that it was a very real possibility that Dan Snyder gets ousted as the owner. That didn't happen. Uh, so, again, I'll believe it when I see it. We all know that Jeff Bezos, who is you know, the, the, uh, the guy in charge of Amazon, the multi-billion dollar man, <clears throat> he, he, he's been wanting an NFL team for a while. And I know that there had been reports. I did a video on this probably last summer about Jeff Bezos wanting the Washington football team. And <clears throat> I mean, a lot of us, I think, were kind of like, you know, hey, why not? I mean, to get Dan Snyder out, I would welcome Jeff Bezos. But at the same time, I think I also had mentioned the question of just because that Jeff Bezos can afford an NFL team, does that mean that he should own an NFL team? I mean, you know what I'm saying? We've obviously seen that not every rich guy who has been in quote-unquote business knows how to run an NFL team, Dan Snyder, i.e. So, having, having been said that, um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I would probably wager to say that, uh, you know, Jeff Bezos is probably a smarter man than Dan Snyder when it comes to business and you know maybe he would run a team a little bit better than Dan Snyder uh, well it may not, honestly anybody may be able to run a team better than Dan Snyder even you and I if we had the money so that could be a possibility I don't know we'll see about that but this congressional investigation is interesting to me so I'm, I really want to see if that actually transpires and, and you know grows some legs and becomes uh, something to talk about and switching to actual football Landon Collins is basically going to be a linebacker now you know they're not actually saying that he's officially a linebacker but for all intents and purposes Landon Collins has been moved to, to linebacker and you know it's something that 
all of us NFL fans have been saying for the past several weeks. You know, we've been saying this because Landon Collins cannot cover anymore. <clears throat> you know, with his um, with his um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to driving as well. <clears throat> um, you know, with his Achilles injury, I think that really played a part in his speed. Uh, even though that it was pretty dramatic how he was able to come back from that injury, um, you know, in such a short span, that doesn't always mean that there's going to be, uh, you know, 100% healing. Uh, him coming back, it only took him, what was it, seven months to come back from that, that uh, Achilles injury. But, yeah, obviously it, it's robbed him from some speed and he has just not been able to play safety. I mean, let's just kind of say it like it is. He has not been able to play safety. <clears throat> um, he's better playing closer to the line. He's been better, you know, playing as a linebacker and honestly, I know that uh, Collins was saying that he's a team player. I'm glad he, he thinks that way because I think it's going to help the team for him to be able to, um, you know, play in the position as linebacker. Because obviously right now, when you look at linebacker, I feel like we're kind of, you know, we're thin at that. Uh, Jamin Davis is still developing. He hasn't really been the immediate impact player like we had hoped he would be. Um, John Bostic is out for the year. Uh, Cole Holcomb has played really well this year. Uh, but, you know, having somebody like Landon Collins who can come up to the line and, and you know, play pretty well, that's, uh, you know, that could probably save his career and who knows, maybe beef up that, that linebacker group right now that that's uh, reeling a little bit from injuries so I'm happy with that uh, I, I think it was long overdue honestly probably should have been something that was uh, switched up after the first or second game um, but anyway you know and talking about games we have a game this weekend it's against the Green Bay Packers okay so man this is going to be a tough game it really is. Um, I mean, I know that the Packers right now do have some injuries. And, you know, this could be something that we that we kind of look at and we see, you know, can we take advantage of some of these matchups where the Green Bay Packers is a little thin with injuries. But, you know, of course, we have injuries as well. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure if Sam Cosme is going to be able to play this week. We know that Brandon Sheriff is not playing. Um, more than likely, Curtis Samuel won't be playing. So we're going to have to rely heavily, of course, on Terry McLaurin. We're going to have to rely on uh, Diami Brown and uh, DeAndre Carter, uh, who has stepped up and has played well. So... I've, I've really been very pleased with with that. Um, but having said all that, um, yeah, I, I'm just uh, curious to see what we get from um, from those matchups. I mean, I, I really think that um, I really think this is going to be a tough game. Obviously. We're playing in Green Bay. Um, you know, Green Bay has, again, they have started off as being, well, what is it, 4-1 and one right now? 5-1? and one? I don't know. Um, so, that being said, <clears throat> we're going to have to see uh, if we can take advantage of the, the matchups. 
We're going to have to turn Taylor Heineke loose. He's going to have to play like Taylor Heineke. Okay, he can't play... He can't play the pocket passer guy because he just isn't a pocket passer. He is a guy who is a gunslinger who makes plays with his legs, um, buys time, and eventually, hopefully, finds receivers who have been able to work themselves open. So that is Taylor Heineke. That is who he is. And that is what the uh, Washington football team needs out of Taylor Haneke. So, you know, it's, it's no time to be experimenting with him and trying to change him into, you know, quarterback that he, he isn't. I mean, let's just say it like it is. Taylor Haneke is not going to be our franchise quarterback. I mean, I know that, I know that sounds disappointing, but <clears throat> honestly, that's the truth. He's not going to be our franchise quarterback. So... Because of that, you need to just use him to his strengths and his abilities. You know, I mean, it's, that's just <laughs> that's just all it is to it. Just use him for his strength and abilities, and turn him loose, let him do his thing. And I know it sounds bad, but you know, if if how he wins is by playing a little reckless and aggressive then by all means play restless or play reckless and aggressive and go for it that's just what you have to do um so yeah taylor haneke turn him loose um, good job with moving landon collins to linebacker that's what needed to happen and <clears throat> honestly folks I mean that that's what I have to say uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going on with this football team and on top of all of that of course then we start to get rumors that we could be involved in a three-team trade to land uh, Tua from Miami I don't see that happening uh, none of the Washington uh, beat reporters sees that happening either and in fact a lot of them have inquired about that and it's all been kind of a um, you know a message of uh, absolutely no I mean it was a hard no I think is what JP Finley basically said so uh, you know I mean you're going to have these rumors I will say usually when you do hear these rumors there is some truth I mean there, you know, you see the smoke, there's going to be fire at some place. It may not work out like what they say, obviously. But there is probably some rumor to the fact that Washington could have inquired about Tua. And who knows? I mean, they could have still been very much interested in Deshaun Watson. I mean, who wouldn't be from you know, a player's standpoint, you know, Deshaun Watson was quickly one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And, but, you know, certainly what, what would give you pause is his issues on the field and, or off the field, I should say. And how, how is all of that going to kind of, you know, work out? So folks, um, I hate to say it, but it's going to be very interesting uh, in the wrong way. <laughs> you know, it's just that it's going to be what it is, but uh, we never seem... I want to get to the point to where, you know, we can start talking about this team strictly because of what we're seeing on the field and that it's so interesting because we're doing great things on the field rather than all of this off the field stuff, you know, possible, you know, con congressional investigations and Dan Snyder still being in trouble over emails possibly that he released and you know, all of this junk. Um, you know, we really thought that the uh, culture was going to change right now. I don't know. It's going to take more than, than what we've done. 
believe me, I do think that uh, I do think that Ron Rivera has tried his best to change the culture, but it's going to take more. It's going to take a lot to get this culture changed. There's a lot that's involved in it, and you know, right now, I think this franchise is about ready to go through yet another controversial investigation. And I don't know, sometimes you have to completely break things to fix it. And honestly, I think until Dan Snyder is out completely, this team is, this franchise is going to continue to be broken. Uh, so that's what I have to say about it, folks. 15 minute video did not mean for it to be this long. As always, I would love for you to subscribe if you would like to uh, share like uh, leave me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think and with that said I hope you guys have a great weekend do try to watch the football game if you can um, if it's not going to upset you too much <laughs> that being said folks take care have a great day